Good morning. Today I'm getting this balustrade in. Um, so it's a peak balustrade from Bunnings Aluminium. And it's the first time I'm putting it in. And uh, I just started doing it yesterday. And it's a bit tricky when I'm going to put these posts in. Um, because I have to put all the uprights in before I can install that post fully in. So I'm just going to muck around with that and get the spacings and I'll explain the spacings in a second. So for this balustrade here, if it was timber, I'd do it a different way because I would actually be able to put my spacings exactly even the whole way. This system here, it comes with fixed 100mm spacings. So I'm just going to get the two ends correct. And then how I've worked it out is that's, that's my opening. Divide that by 138, which is from gap to edge divided that by that and that was 11.1 .1, so a bit of an average, average number there so I went 10 times 138 1380 but then I plus 38 because at the end you're gonna have a full um, upright so you gotta allow for that so I ended up with 1418 then I went 1538 which is the width the um, from end to end the actual spacing the full spacing Took that by 418, gave me 120, which and then divide that by two for the two end gaps, which uh, equals 60. So I've got a 60 mil gap there, and then just for the sake of it, just because I've never done this system before, just to triple check myself, I ended up with 57 mil down there. It will end up being 60 because you can see I'm just a little bit off, but even if it was just 58 or 57 mil, it won't really matter because at least it will actually look like it's all nice and even. But that's how I work out my spacings for my balustrade. Just another tip here, this block wall's out of level and um, there's no way that I can get my two points where the packers are going to start because as you can see I'm touching at the top there and at the bottom but I want to specifically get right there and then at the bottom there as well so I've taped 10mm packer and 10mm packer put that up against there so now I've got there 8mm and that's reading level for me so now I've got a 60 mil packer at the bottom and a 68 mil packer out there and then my first my first upright will then be level and I'll be able to work off that. So I pre-drilled these holes here because I'm not going to be able to get my angle of my drill in nice when I put that actual post in and then the way this system works is you, you've got to put in all these uprights in before the, you actually install the post. So I was mucking around with the different ways of doing it but I'm just going to leave this one upright in here. It seems to hold enough. And then I'll just slip in the packers at the top and bottom and then I can just put the uprights in on the angle from the bottom to the top and they can slip in and then I'll just keep going through until it's all gone through. And then yeah, I got that 8mm difference, that 60mm at the bottom and the 68mm packer at the top there and then I've ended up with a nice, starting off nice and level to start with. Looks like once I got, I only need three uprights there and then this will just hang and then I can just put all my uh, uprights and packers in, no worries, so that's a bit handy. Get that first section in there. Just about to put in this final end piece there. Then, because I got block wall and block wall, I'm in between and then so it's a bit tricky to get that last bit in so I took out those bolts I hadn't bolted that one yet anyways slip that in and then slide that over and then I'll slip in all the um, uprights but just a little bit tricky with that system this last section here has been a bit tough being that I gotta wedge it in between wall and uh, slip it into the post because the way that it works it goes in that post there about about 40 mil and same on that side so I've got to swing it right out and then when you slip in these packers too it's a bit annoying having to do it because you got a 100 mil packer one of these 100 mil packers we'll have to go up there and then slide in so I'm going to actually have to put in every upright and the top rail and then slide it all in one piece it's just going to be one of those jobs where I just need one more set of hands to really just be able to complete it properly otherwise I'll just be here for a little while so I'll be able to organise that on Monday um, 
to another job tomorrow. Uh, back to that post job to finish that one off. So it's just one of those days. Also just had a lot of um, calls and stuff today, just at other jobs. So I honestly didn't really get too much on-site work done. So not super exciting video on this one, but just another thing I had on this uh, balustrade system so is I ended up with those gaps being a little bit off. So I would have been able to put the posts exactly centre, but this is the first time using this system and I didn't allow for these joists to make it suit. So I'll explain a bit more here. I've got this joist here, bang on. Now if I had, if I wanted to make that centre, I would have had to move this plate over about 20 mil. Now if I went 20 mil, I was right on the end of a joist. So that would have meant that fixing there, it just would have not have had a good fixing. Even if I put a block in there, it would have been in between a block and a joist. With that being the case, for what stage I'm at, the way to rectify that would be to honest, to have to redo the deck and change location of joist. Not redo the deck, but there would have been ways. But anyways, it wasn't. it's not worth doing. So I know that the client here, this isn't like a dream home, it's just an investment property. Um, so rather than doing all that lengths, it will just be is what it is. But it's just one of those things that if I knew how this system went through, then I would have made adjustments to my choice to make sure that where these posts would have been centre. So if you do ever use this system, it's peak balustrade from Bunnings, just something to consider. Um, it's not like timber balustrade where I can get my spacings bang on every time. So, um, but yeah, just a little thing to be mindful of, but I'll probably just end up finishing the video here and I'll catch you tomorrow.